So we should just be able to rip it. Leave that in the video. Leave it. Leave it. Welcome back, we're the Bourbon Junkies. He's Dan, I'm Sean. New Early Times Bottle and Bond, since Sazerac owns it now. Talk to you guys in a second. Buddy, what is this nightmare? There you go. There I go. You know what? <laughs> okay, that's super aggressive, dude. Okay, so I haven't long poured in a while, and this feels like the first time. All right, Dan's gonna go for the long pour. The longest pour. I really like to line this one up, you know? I feel like since I haven't done it in a while, it really should be a big deal. I reeled that in. That's not bad for not having done that in quite a while, and we did need to season the box. I'm gonna short pour me some, and we're gonna move on with the video. Ooh, that had a chance. Random mouse <laughs> in his prime. So, early times Ball the Bond. I'm not looking forward to this. New year, new glass, new owner. Who this? So it's <laughs> no longer a plastic top. You get this nice tin, tin cap. It's kind of like the Weller caps used to be before they corked them, yeah. honestly. It literally like looks and feels identical to the Weller caps, except it's blue. Get this around the box a little bit here for you. Um, cap. See, the nice thing about long pouring and spilling a little bit of whiskey is, a little you, bit, huh? is you just a tiny bit. A little bit. Huh? Like a eighth of an ounce. The nice part about that is you get all the aromas. It, whether your glass is tainted or not, I smell early times bottle in the bond right now. Used to be one of my favorite. Oh, here we go. Favorite available bottles Cue ever exist. Sad violin. Yeah, do cap. it. Yep, play it. And then Ron Foreman sold it to Sazerac. They did that. And then they said, don't worry, we're not gonna change it. I don't know if they said that, but we all hoped that for sure. <laughs> the wink, the, the ultimate wink. So here's the thing. At the moment, we do, I personally believe that this is stock from Brown Foreman that they bought when they bought the brand early time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, do you think it's the same? I, th I think it's the same stock. I think it's the same whiskey. Okay. What I don't, they did change the glass. The glass is slightly different yep. than the old glass. That's yep. how you know if you got a- It'll change it. Between the, the cap and the glass, that's how you know if you got a Sazerac one or if you got a Brown Foreman one. This one's a little shorter. That one's like Just the shoulder smidge, yeah. on the glass here is higher than the shoulder on this glass. Mm -hmm. So um, at some point here, we're gonna fresh crack two of these at the same time and we're gonna try them next to each other in like a triangle blind, but that is for a different video. This is just a review. So. Still hunter proof, still a leader, thankfully, and still the same price. It's lost a lot of the red fruit, I think. Okay. It smells more like a tobacco dipped banana. Whoa. I don't know that I agree with the tobacco part of that. You statement. don't get any tobacco. Excuse you? I, I like the way you said it was like, it was overwhelming and hateful. And oh. I feel like it's just a hint. It's there. It's tobacco dipped banana. I do get the banana. I completely agree with that part. It's still got some sweet caramel on it. Just almost zero red fruit. I almost get like a, like a, almost like a burnt sugar drizzled on a banana. Like if you were making caramel at home and you overdid it, right? Like you didn't do a good job with it. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, that tastes like there's neutral green spirits in that. A thousand percent. A little abrasive. A little? A little sharp. Why? I'm so, I'm violently upset. I want to smash this Glenn and stab you with it. It's this, not even I, your fault, I know, I'm just, but you're close. I'm not even the messenger either. You're just, <laughs> rant, you're, shoot, you're like, you know, don't shoot the messenger. You're just like, anybody. kill everyone. I still like the nose a lot. I get like a nice coffee ground on the nose as well. Like you just, like you just ground your coffee beans at your house. I get that. Um, I get the banana you're talking about. I think it has like a burnt sugar on it, which I think you're equating to what did you say? The tobacco? Um, Dude, that tastes over oaked. It's pretty dark. It's actually really dark whiskey. That, um, that you know. literally tastes like there is over oaked product definite. in that. It, it feels sharp, tannic, abrasive. Definitely darker than our other one. It doesn't matter. Bro, I almost knocked over both at the same time. Shambles. We're in shambles Cheers. right now. Now here's my, now the reason we're reviewing this right now is I think that this is about to become hyper available again. So this old bottle was super available and it was pretty much everywhere and it's almost it like always $22. For $22. Okay. What? 
Okay, I'm gonna let you have it. I know what? that we're mourning the loss for you right now. I know. So, I'm gonna be super salty this whole video. The, that is not an F. It's still $22. It's still a liter and it's 100 proof. It's not an F. It's good mixer whiskey. You know? Oh my That's God. That's what they made. They made the this ultimate $22 mixer whiskey. So, these were hyper available, which is why Sean, one of the reasons Sean fell in love with them is because Sean's super cheap and he doesn't like to look for things. So when this is everywhere for $20 and he can drink, you know, really and it's a liter and it was really good, then everybody fell in love with it for those reasons. Dan now, gave me a lot of crap and then we started putting it in blinds true. and then Dan would always let it win. True. You know, I, I don't know if he was just doing it for me or, you know, it, maybe it was just and, the best cheap bottle ever. And that backfired now because now Sean's mad at everybody. So, yeah. but... It did go away for a little bit, especially in Michigan. I know some states, some of you guys are gonna leave a comment and say, oh, I can find it everywhere. Yeah. While you're here, leave a comment and tell us if you've tried it and if you think it's different. But I think and hope that now that the glass has changed, I think that they've settled on this. And I think that this is now gonna be everywhere because this is back in Michigan again in the new glass. Yeah. So I'm thinking that this will become an available bottle in the next like month or two again. At I the same like, price. I do like the nose. I the nose say, is great, man. I really do uh, like the nose. I just been swirling the crap out of this yeah. one and some of that like tobacco, maybe I'm just acclimating to it, but like the astringent part that I didn't like so much is kind of mellowed out, I think. It's not astringent. Yeah, it was. It wasn't. It, it tastes, I, it smells, man. I think it smells great. Mm. I like it. I like the coffee grounds. I, there's like a dark roast on there. There's the banana, but on the palate, I do agree that there's, I, I don't know if like that, if it's a youth note or if it's, it obviously doesn't have neutral grain in it. And then it just tastes like that, you know? All from the let now. It's not bad. It's not as bad as- It's not as good it. though, is the issue. It's the $20. problem dollars. is it was pretty dang good. Like it wasn't the best whiskey ever to exist. It was pretty dang good, $22. And now it's eh in Name a better $20 bottle than this one. One four three six. That's 25. And that's no, not a liter. That's 22. Okay, and it's not a liter. Okay, so name another $20 bottle. So that's a $750, name another $18 bottle better than that. Uh, nope, the, nope, no. Ferio Barton. No, no it's not. Yes it is. That's really, th it's fantastic, but it's thin as hell. Okay. This is a nice texture, like the mouthfeel. You're mad. Yeah. This is, his review is very biased. My review is unbiased. Yeah. First time ever, probably. <laughs> I don't know, do you really have a grade for this? Mm -hmm. Okay. 22 bucks, liter, 100 proof, A minus. C. It's still say, fantastic. It's still great. I can't wait. It's still I great. I can't wait until the next one where you, you're you gonna, we're gonna fresh crack both of them. Uh -huh. You're gonna say, wow, one of these, not even close. You may be right. We'll find out then. All right, I'll see you guys then. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. Proof's in the poor. Dan's wrong. Cheers.